Hello and welcome to the official MCC 35 update video. It's our final MCC of the season, so what better way to celebrate than with those wintry and cozy vibes. We've got a few cool changes in this video with something spectacularly new and cool getting mentioned at the end, so get your snow boots on and let's go walking. Firstly, our main hub gets a little sprinkle with all its cute and delightful decorations to get the players in the festive mood. But of course, being festive also means gift giving. During the breaks, other than half time, a number of present piles will spawn around the hub. When players pick up a present, they'll be given another player that they must give their gift to. If gifted successfully, both the gifter and the receiver will be given a fun bonus item to use in the next decision dome. Spread the love and then sabotage each other straight away. Yay! Running through the games now, lots of wintry goodness across these. For Ace Race, of course, we'll be travelling to Yeti Set Go. Battlebox will be seeing a visit from the beloved Santa Sleigh. In Grid Runners, we'll be seeing a few wintry rooms. Parkour Warrior will have a bit more snow than usual. To get to the other side and whack a fan will include Santa's Train, Polar Passing, a wintry Decision Dome, Boats, my favourite, a wintry Cliff, and Terra Swoop Force Tunnel 2, which I guess has an ice tunnel, so that counts, yeah? We'll be seeing everyone's favourite, Snows of Time, a visit into the icy dungeons of time. A visit to Bingo But Frosty with a winter-themed bingo card, along with a mostly snowy generation. In Meltdown, players will now freeze into snowmen, which is maybe not that much colder than ice, but a lot funner. Rocket's Bleef Rush will see wintry versions of Temple and Classic along with Area 51, which we tried to put some snow, but because of how hot it was in the desert, it all melted. So it's not a winter map, but there was an attempt. I think you should all know that. And then lastly, Dodgebolt becomes Snowbolt, where everyone with wintry scarves and woolly mittens gets to throw deadly snowballs back and forth. How cozy. Just before we announce our last change and that cool new thing, it's worth mentioning that we've got the last remaining stock of the Season 3 coins available on mcc.store just before the season wraps up. So if you are thinking of picking one up, you better do it soon as there are only a few left. And I'd like to give a huge thank you to everyone who bought one to support this season and helped fund MCC's development. So as the last change right at the end of the event, to finish off the season, we'll be playing one final round of 20v20 Megabolt. This time, however, spectators will be able to throw different types of snowmen into the arena that teams can use as bodyguards. Snowmen when hit with an arrow will trigger an effect on all players surrounding it, based on the colour of their scarf. These effects could be things like blindness or levitation. Ouch! And now, for that new thing, right after Megabolt, once we've collected all the final data of the season, we'll be releasing a link to MCC Triumphs, our very own recap of the year. Each player who participated this season will get their own cute little card deck that celebrates their highlights over the year in a fun and interesting way. We can't wait for people to see it and, uh, well, maybe like crash the site or something. You know how this stuff goes. Well, I think that means that this video has been wrapped up nicely. A massive thank you to everyone who has been along for the ride in Season 3 and we hope you enjoy our end of year celebration. We'll catch you all tomorrow on Saturday the 9th of December at 8pm GMT for MCC 35. Happy, Happy Holidays! holidays.